Hi guys and welcome to another Will I Buy It video. This is where we get to look at some sneak peeks and perhaps some of these items have already been released. I refer to different Instagram accounts of the ones that I follow and I highly encourage you to follow them as well. They give great insights and as I was just saying, sneak peeks into what is upcoming. And I've just moved over so I can put pictures of what I'm talking about just up here. So the first account I'm going to look at from Instagram is Amit Beauty Talk and on here she has pictures of the newly released, it's the Byredo Eyeshadow Palette. Now I'm pretty sure that this was released on the Byredo site but I had a look there yesterday and I couldn't find it so whether they just launched it for two or three days and then took it down or it sold out I'm not too sure. If I can find where it is for sale then I will have it listed down below. Selfridge is normally stock this as well at some stage so I imagine it won't be too far away from the Selfridges website. So this is an 18 shadow eyeshadow palette and it is neutral. It has both warm, cool and neutral tones. I think that this looks really beautiful. I do love my neutral eyeshadows and I have purchased a Byredo eyeshadow palette before, last year's one, and I thought it was really beautiful and I also thought the formula was really gorgeous as well. I think that there are a lot of different looks that you could do with this palette. It looks like there is some mattes, perhaps some satins, and maybe also some metallics as well. So even though that this is a neutral eyeshadow palette, I do think that it looks really, really versatile. And if it's like last year's one, the formula is going to be really gorgeous. So will I pick it up? Well, I'm not too sure. I have bought quite a few makeup items recently. Possibly if I see it pop up at Selfridges, I will pick it up. And if I do, I will do a review on it, probably doing two or three different looks with it. At this stage, this is a maybe, and that's nothing to do with what I think of the quality of Byredo eyeshadow palettes, because as I was saying, I do think they are really gorgeous. It's just a matter of whether I really need it in my eyeshadow collection. And I do think that the packaging of this is really lovely too. It features silver chrome packaging with an image of stone sculpture signifying the remembrance theme. And I think that looks really, really lovely. And now moving on to the Instagram account. This is WZ underscore. I think it's two underscores and then beauty. And first of all, we'll take a look at the Tom Ford. I did mention this in my previous Will I Buy It video, I think. And there are the three eyeshadow quads. These have been launched in the UK. And I think they've possibly been launched in one or two places in the US. I'm not too sure. And I did see these pop up at Selfridges and also at Harrods. It seems to be that as soon as they pop up, they sell out within 10 or 15 minutes. These are going to be really, really popular. Out of the three, I talked about this before in the other video, so I won't go on too much about it. But out of the three, I do like the one Hazy Sensuality. I think that is a really beautiful neutral palette. Has a little bit of the pink there, but I think that is really gorgeous. I think the other two looks will be really beautiful as well. Probably more for a warmer look. And I was able to pick up all three of these quads from Salvages when they did appear. And after I purchased them, and then 10 minutes later, they had been all sold out. So as I was saying, these are definitely going to be popular. So I'll probably be getting them, sometimes with Selfridges, it can take just a few days. Other times it can take a couple of weeks for it to arrive. But when they do, I will be putting up videos and reviewing them. And the new Dior Lip Addict Cases, these are really beautiful. And the one I think that was probably most sought after, and I think that one's called Dior Oblique, that one is now for sale in the US. Those of you in New Zealand and Australia, that's also available on the Dior website there. I picked up the Dior Oblique one. I also picked up the white one and also the Canage one as well. They are really, really lovely. And soon Chanel will be launching, probably around about June. It's their Le Beiges for 2023. There has been some mixed reactions with this. 
three of the products are the cream bronzers and these are re-releases but in a travel size. There's also the Le Beige's Illuminating Oil that was also released last year but this year it is going to be in a travel size as well. There's going to be two new Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks in 174 Destination which is more of a deeper shade and then 176 Escapade. Out of the two I probably gravitate more towards the 174 destination that looks very light and it looks quite similar to the shade boy but nevertheless i would probably pick it up if it does come available here in new zealand price wise with the travel size bronzers they're probably not going to be a lot less than what this size is here but if you're like me and you have quite a few different bronzers and you want to try these out or you want the smaller size for travel if you use them a lot is that you're probably likely to get through them more than this bigger size before the expiration date. Now I keep the cream bronzers longer than what they say from the shelf life that they have on their packaging but really I probably wouldn't keep my cream bronzers probably longer than two or three years. It's different with a powder product but with cream yeah I probably just wouldn't keep them longer than two or three years. With the illuminating oil I did purchase that last year and I have it on the shelf to the left of me here and it is quite a big bottle so if you didn't try that I do recommend it. It is a really beautiful oil. It's more of a dry oil and it gives this beautiful, it's just a really beautiful sparkle on the skin and it is quite a hefty type of bottle, the bigger one that was released last year so I think the travel size would be really really perfect. The other thing with Chanel releasing these there are some people that are disappointed. From a business point of view depending on when these travel sizes were manufactured they could have been manufactured probably one or two years ago and for a turnover point of view if I was with Chanel and you wanted to try and sell these travel sizes to get the turnover of the stock for these travel sizes and the smaller illuminating oil if you were to release an eyeshadow palette at the same time the way that things are now with economies worldwide is that people would probably gravitate towards the eyeshadow palette and maybe think about picking up the travel sizes a bit later on but when you release a uh, Labeja's collection and there's only two new Coco Flashes and the rest are the travel sizes, then it's more likely that people are going to purchase those travel sizes. So that's what I think their thinking is with this collection. I could be wrong, an eyeshadow palette may pop up. I did speak to my SA about two or three weeks ago about this upcoming Le Beige's collection and at that stage she wasn't too sure what was coming up and she did mention a couple of things and I told her that they were actually released last year. One was the Touch Foundation and the other thing were those water blushes. So New Zealand is finally going to get those but they were released last year. She said that she was going to be getting a list soon and she would let me know what was on that but at this stage I don't know anymore whether this is it for the Le Beige's collection or there might be one or two extra things. And Tom Ford is coming out with some more products. These have been released I think in one or two countries in Europe and this is the 2023 Soleil collection. I think this looks really really beautiful and it has two eyeshadow quads, it has what they call a glow highlighter and also a lip balm as well. Now out of this collection I think if I could I would get the two eyeshadow quads especially one with the pink shade in it. I think that would be really, really beautiful. I'm not too sure about the glow highlighter. That's probably something I would want to watch a review on before I pick that up. I do tend to prefer more subtle type of highlights and I get a feeling that this one 
is probably going to make you look like a disco ball and it is very warm leaning as well and then there is the lip balm now I have purchased Tom Ford lip balm before and I do think that it is really really lovely it's just that I'm not too sure about this shade and what it would look like it's probably another thing that I'd like to see swatches of and a review of before I pick it up I don't know whether this will come to New Zealand. The only way that I'll probably get my hands on any of these products from this collection is if it goes to either Harrods or Selfridges, but definitely out of this collection, the quads. I think they both look really, really gorgeous. And next we have a new release from MAC, and this is available in the US and UK. I think it's all around the world. It's also available here in New Zealand as well. And this is the Studio Fix Pro Set Plus Blur Weightless Powder. I'm quite interested in this. They say that Studio Fix Collection is expanding with a new breathable pro inspired setting powder, an ultra refined loose powder that sets makeup all day, instantly absorbs oil, and provides a photo friendly matte finish with a 3D blurring effect, includes a plush puff applicator. They also say that this is a lightweight, ultra-refined powder. It sets makeup, instantly absorbs oil and controls shine, blurs and smooths the look of blemishes. Eight-hour colour true wear. It doesn't settle, cake or crease. Perspiration and humidity resistant. And they also go on to say that it does not cause acne. There are shades here. Light, medium, medium, deep, dark, deep, dark and also a rosy pink. I have really oily skin and depending on how this powder works it could also make some of the foundations that I have which tend to be can be a little bit too glowy for my skin sometimes but this powder could make it that they are a lot more wearable not just in the winter months when it's cooler here so even though my skin's still oily it isn't as oily as in the summer months but it also may help one of those foundations with my oily skin during the summer as well so I'm pretty sure that I will pick up one of these I'm in no rush to get it but the next time that I do a shop probably at Smith & Coe's here in New Zealand I'll probably pick one of these up and when I do I will do a review on it because not only do I want to see how it performs with my oily skin I want to see how mature skin friendly it is as well and Laura Mercier has just released some powders it's called the real flawless luminous perfecting pressed powder and I'm pretty sure that this is for sale on the Laura Mercier site Nordstrom also has these available as well if this comes to New Zealand I would be interested in trying this out even though I do have quite a few beautiful powders I'm always on the lookout for the next best thing they say that this is a pressed finishing powder that enhances the look of skin and makeup with a natural luminous finish instantly adding dimension and enlivening skin they say it gives light coverage and a radiant finish. So whether this would be okay with my oily skin, I'm not too sure. And unlike the MAC powder, this is probably one that I would use since I have my oily skin with more of a soft matte finish foundation rather than a foundation that has a glowy finish because it would just make it even more glowy. But I am quite interested in this. And this is one where I'd like to see reviews on it first. And like I was saying, if this does come to New Zealand, I may pick this up. So lots of beautiful new releases coming. Which ones are you going to get and which ones are you going to pass on? Let me know in the comments below. I always enjoy your comments on these types of videos. So that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed. And I will see you next time. Bye.